Yo YouTube, how you doing? Today we're installing a Mac OS X, the L2, the Lion 2. And we booted with the iEcos L2. That stands for 10.7.2. We go to utilities. This thing is running uh, snow at this moment, Leopard Snow. An installation that I did on uh, the 5720 my laptop there but I took out the hard drive because you know the thing was not booting it also has the 3100 card and my arg command did not work on that <laughs> so uh, I popped up the drive in here and I just turned on this uh, this laptop this uh, what is it again the 70 57 57 Black clock, I need glasses, man. 5736 set. That is this thing. 5736 set. That's an Intel, Intel Core 2 Duo, two duo uh, processor. So it's not a crazy thing, huh? You see, TV Mac. This thing uh, had 10.6.3 installed. And now we're gonna try to install the Lion 2. The booting went just fine. It's a little longer, eh? Booting takes uh, takes a little longer. What are we doing here? We are um, emptying the hard drive, but most of you should know that. That was my installation. So now the drive is empty. I think yes. Now we can go away from here, and we will continue. It's also nice to go to utilities and to go to system. Uh, System information, I think it was. Let's take a look at uh, if we can discover some some hardware in there that we can, you know, that we can get some some stuff out of that. Uh, well, I wasn't looking for this. I was looking for. The profile. Where is it? System information. Oh wait, I think I have to go back. Disagree. Back. Oh, next. Ah. And utilities. I don't see system profile in here. Huh? No. Not. So then we will have to do with the knowledge that we have about the hardware in here. We will have to customize the installation. And we see that uh, the Chameleon 2.1 bootloader is selected, graphics enabler built in Ethernet is selected, CPU throttler, I don't know about that, um, I will not touch it. And in patches, in patches we see that we have everything already selected, RTC is selected, uh, custom kernels, I only see an Anthem kernel so I will not select any kernel, in drivers, main hardware, SATA IDE, I'll go for uh, the first one, AHCI SATA, oops, yeah. Sata. There you go. And then for sound, we will just take the Fudu, I think the 2.2, 2.6 is the latest. Eh? 2.6 is the latest. We could go for the latest. 2.7. Oh, wait a minute. So we'll just go for 2.7. For the USB drivers, I think, I'm not sure if this thing has USB 3. So. Yeah. Replaces the eyes and cacks with the unmodified six temperature. This is needed for some motherboards. I will not select any anything there. Hardware sensors, CPU, motherboard, and this thing has PS2. Laptop battery we select, 
in VGA we will not be able to select anything because Intel is not, you see there's no Intel there. So and for wired, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure what this thing has. And for wireless, we only see that we can select the Ateros. So and this thing has some strange Acer Acer Wi-Fi chip, you know, so no need to select any of this because will not work, you know? So we're just gonna hit OK and install. So this is it, these are the choices I made. And uh, yeah, we will have to see how everything goes and if the thing will boot up, you know, and whatever. It's such a pity, I really would love to see the Wi-Fi work, but then again, I think there will be no support for Wi-Fi for this thing. But I have my little stick, so you know, makes me arrogant. I don't care too much about the in internal Wi-Fi driver. You know, it's nice if it will work, but if it doesn't work, we have a solution for that. So it's all good. So we will have to wait until the installation uh, ends, you know, and if it all will go successful. If so, then I'm going to let you know and I'll get back to you in the next part of starting of the machine. And we're booting Lion now. We just installed Lion. And uh, I hope you can see it a little bit, lots of uh, reflection from the background. I might try to close a little bit the window. And at this point we, we're not sure if it's gonna work. Because it's always experimental of course. What we know for sure that will not work, that is our Wi-Fi, the cam might work, I hear that the sound just made a little click and I have a good feeling about this installation, also we see that uh, the light from the hard drive and there we go, there she goes. Hey, music is playing. So the install was successful, so the settings were good. I'll get back to you after I uh, I did this all. Uh. Okay, let's look up. So, there we go. I will just... I also have an issue with the A of this thing. See that? There she goes again. Damn it. So this should work. And there we go, man. Lion installed on this little baby. There you go, looking stable, we will do this later, let's look at the specs about this Mac, 3 gigabyte, 800 megahertz, DDR3 RAM, of course you cannot read anything, but uh, you must trust me on this one. It's uh, the Intel Core 2 Duo, the processor is found and the system is running and up. Another success story. So in fact, yeah, it's possible to install Mac on this baby. Yeah, mount, what was it, Lion, the 7, 10.7.2, you know, it's running. Of course, uh, we have no Wi-Fi, uh, we do have sound and the screen is acceptable because it's a big screen so uh, what we need to fix is the cam because I didn't see the cam driver working I'm gonna start a photo boot and 
photo boot is giving me a black screen. It's searching, it's searching, it's searching for a cam. Let me show you. You see that? It's searching for a cam, but there's no no cam or whatsoever. So let's try to get back. Escape maybe. Well, as you can see, the cam is not working. I'm gonna get the cam driver for this. But uh, yeah, for the rest, it's uh, working. I must look at the temperature of this thing because that is very important. The temperature, if it's getting too hot, then you know you can better kill the baby because I'm feeling it now and it's it's pretty warm, you know. It's pretty warm. So I will have to check the temperature because. The temperature of this thing shouldn't be higher than, you know, 37, 38 degrees Celsius, you know. So everything above that 55, 60, you know, up to 70 is not good. And uh, you can, you know, keep running Mac on the thing, but means that, uh, yeah, the the system is installed, but you know your machine is in fact making over hours just because of the power management settings not being you know made for this machine so in fact you know you might blow up your machine you know if it gets too hot really hot that the sensors are not like reacting because of the installation you know not being good enough then it might get a problem but i will let you know about that in my next video we will make uh, try to make a recording with uh, uh, with QuickTime, and then I'm gonna show you around in this system. But first, I have to get some uh, monitor program to see what the temperature is of this baby, and you know if we're gonna hold her or if we're gonna kill her again, and you know try something else, some other Linux distribution, because I don't want it to get too warm. But we will have to see about that. That's it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm happy. Till my next video about this Mac. Thank you for watching. If you think this video was okay, rate it like. Bye.